joint variation. Joint variation is when we've got the variable depending on more than one. So we'll have to write both of them out. In this case it says the volume of a cylinder varies jointly as the square of the radius and the height. So the volume of the cylinder varies jointly square of the radius and the height and therefore we get our rule. So that's what it means we've got more than one variable. Example 11, given that y is proportional to x squared divided by z, two variables, use the following table of values to find the constant of variation k and hence complete the table. So therefore we have y equals kx squared divided by z. And therefore we'll need to find our k and of course we're going to use all these three numbers to find our k. So we've got x equals 2, y equals 2 and z equals 10. And therefore when I substitute it in I get 2 equals x was 2, 2 squared is 4, k divided by z was 10. So I'm going to get 20 equals 4k, so k equals 5. And therefore I have y equals 5x squared divided by z and I can use that to find all the other values so when I get x is 4 and z equals 8 I can find my y equals 5 times 4 squared is 16 divided by 8 that's going to be 10. Okay, I'm not going to do all these for you I know you guys can work that out this one here for the x I'll get 5 and for the z I will get 125 I know it shows to do it all, but I'm not going to do it. Example 12, the speed s of a conveyor belt varies directly as the diameter d of the cog around which it passes and the number of revolutions per second n the cog makes. So it gives us that information. So we have s varies jointly as d and n doesn't say anything that one squared or the other so therefore I end up getting s equals k d n of course I've got to find my k and it says the speed of a belt that passes around a cog of diameter 0 0.3 revolves 20 times per second in 18.85 meters per second find the value of part a the constant of variation so it gives us all, all that information I have s which equals 18.85 I have my D which is 0 0.3 and I have my N which is 20 times so when I substitute it in I get 18.85 times K times 0 0.3 times 20 and when I work this out I end up getting K equals 3.142 so therefore I found my k and my rule is s will equal 3.142 dn. Part p. The speed of a belt passing around a cog half as big revolving 30 times per second. So we know that n equals 30 and we know that d has to be half what it was. If it was 0 0.3, half of that is 0 0.15. And therefore I get s equals 3.142 times my d, which is 0.15 times my s. That's a bad 30. 30, and when I work that out, I get s equals 14.14 meters per second. And that will be to do decimal places. Excuse me, stop.